If you would like to see how I made this gorgeous graduation cap, stay tuned and watch the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button for more notifications. This craft is gonna be very simple. You will need your graduation cap, and I've already cut out and traced my letters onto the cap. You will need your wax pickers, as well as some type of fabric glue or any type of glue you desire. This is gonna be my first time using E6000 fabric fuse, so hopefully they come out good. And for the people that ask me about my rhinestones, I do get these off of AliExpress. These are plastic crystals, and the size is four millimeters. What I like about these are that the back, you cannot see through the crystals. So if you know, if you use the original E6000 and the normal crystals that you'll get from Michaels, you can see how it cracks. But these, you don't have that effect. And I think each pack was like $9 and they came in two weeks. So you can't beat that. I love AliExpress. This is the best place to go, at least for me, for all of my crystals. But they're pretty so let's get started so i'll be starting out with the silver rhinestones today and i just put them on the dollar tree platter it just makes it easier for me to pick up and clean up is a lot easier so let's get this show on the road so and also i like this one because you see the nozzle is very small so i guess your lines will be a lot Precise, yeah, a little bit more precise. And don't mind my voice, I'm sorry. Like, I was sick and I have been sick for like the last few weeks. That is what I don't like already. Air pockets. So, what's gonna happen? I'm going to outline the letters with silver. I'm going to do the inside with the red rhinestones and everything else is going to be black. So this would, you know, I'm not going to sit here and finish the whole video. I'm just going to do a time lapse, but apparently some of you guys like a time lapse and I'm here for it. So it is nice. I do apologize. I have not done crafts in a while. Um, I've been occupied with work. I finally got my um, mortician license, so I am very happy. So hopefully I will have a little bit more free time to um, go back to crafting and even giving you guys videos, try on hauls, all that good stuff. And also, I think I should get... I n please leave in the comments if you know what it's called, the magnifying glasses with the lights on it when you're doing stuff like this because I've been having problems with my eyes and it's getting worse. So I definitely need some type of assistance. I'm not even 30 yet and I'm talking about I have problems with my eyes. So it's cute, it's gonna be shiny. So this is for my little sister. She's graduating. I'm so excited. She's graduating college. A great achievement. And because I've never used this glue, I think I'm going to let up a little bit. I see a lot is coming out, so I'm going to try to do a thinner line. And this is not as thick. Obviously, I guess you guys can see. It's not as thick as the original E6000. So, I'm curious to see the dry time of this. Hopefully, everything goes good. Mm. Eventually, I'm going to speed up. I'm going to do a time lapse, whatever it's called. i 
Okay, so as I'm fish, finishing up using the silver and the glue is starting to dry, I'm actually liking it because, um, dang, that was a bad one. What is going on with me? The glue is actually drying pretty clear, so this actually might work. Just don't put a lot. You see how it oozed out, but over here is all the way clear. I like it. I like it. The thing is, once everything is completed, how long will the rhinestones last? So that would be the next thing. But more than likely, this is going to be a time lapse. I'm not going to sit here and finish all of this today. I'll come back later on to complete it. All right, I'm back. Day two. Um, everything has dried pretty well. Um, it does dry clear. It seems like they stick pretty well. It doesn't come off. I'm cool with it. So today I'm going to start with the black. And this look really, 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 really good underneath of the light. So let's get started. I hope I am recording. What is this? Today, two days after Thanksgiving. So I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Where do I want to start? I'm going to start at the top. I hope everyone had a great, wonderful Thanksgiving and some good food. I don't know how I want to do this. I'm going to try to play it cool and see how close to the edge I'm going to go. Not sure yet. And with me, I ain't sure, so I did that much on the edge. Let's see what we got. Mm, I can go a little bit closer. Let's see. So I'm going to just scoot it over. Not an issue. I'm going to be dazzling. It is very much trial and error. I'm not perfect. I mess up all the time. I have projects in here that I have finished and, I mean, started and never finished. So it's just a part of the crafting mindset and it's okay. I have finally finished placing the black rhinestones on and I am in love. This is absolutely gorgeous. So here you see me placing on the red rhinestones. I really don't like them too much. So I had my boyfriend take them off because these had like a little bit of a yellow tone to it and I wasn't feeling it. So I went on Amazon and bought the red ones and it was absolutely perfect. I am officially finished and it is absolutely gorgeous. I am in love. Congratulations to the students of SU 2022. Y'all did it.